Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math Lessons. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we are going over how to represent the set intersection using Venn diagrams. So if we have the intersection of two sets, A intersect B, the intersection is basically what A and B have in common. Just like two lines where they intersect is the point which they have in common. So two sets intersect, um, that creates the elements that both sets have in common. So if we take A intersect B, we don't get the elements in A and the elements in B, we get the elements in A and B. And using English, that can be kind of hard to understand um, quite what the difference is, so Venn diagrams can often be helpful, which is what we'll use today. So how do you write this out using Venn diagrams and hopefully that will make it perfectly clear what A intersect B really means. So we'll draw our box, our universe here where all of our sets live. I'm not going to make the mistake of making it too small like I did last time. This isn't totally necessary drawing the universe for this lesson, but I'm going to anyways because I think it's, um, I think it's a nice part of Venn diagram notation for sets. So we have our green set A looks something like this, nice big circle. We don't know what's in there, but presumably something is. And even if nothing is, that doesn't destroy the example. And let's say we've got our yellow set, B, looks something like this. Should probably start using a different color than yellow. It really just, eh, doesn't look all that great. But so here's A and B. We don't know if they intersect, but we draw them as intersecting, just in case they do, because it's a generic example. Um, and of course, where all talking about the intersection today. So the intersection of these two sets is what we're going to shade in. This is A, this is B. When we did A union B, we shaded in both sets completely because it's just every element from both sets. But the intersection is, I mean, here it's very literal. It's where these circles intersect in this little um, almond sort of football shape. This is the intersection of A and B because this is the space where the elements lie that are in A and that are in B. Any element in here is an element of A, as you can see, and it's an element of B. And the set containing all of those elements is the intersection of A and B. And if we intersected um, another set here, let's say we had set C here, and we wanted, call that set C, we wanted A intersect B intersect C, we would be looking at this small little um, sort of hyperbolic triangle shape, or excuse me, that's kind of a spherical triangle shape right there, which might not mean anything to you, but if it does, I hope it helps. <laughs> so we would just be shading in that little space, because that's where C, that's the only spot in the diagram where we've got some C, we've got some A in there, and we've got some B in there. So the intersection is just where they all intersect. Um, but of course, for the two set example, the nice easy one, this is what we get. We just get this little shaded in almond. And then if you throw in another set, you just get the intersection of that almond with the set that you added, which is just this little section right here. And that is what we would have if we looked at the intersection of all three of these sets. In any event, I hope this video helped you understand how to represent set intersections using Venn diagrams, which can be very helpful with sets. So I hope it helped. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or need anything clarified or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You'll have there's a light where I float that erases all black. It makes everything.